Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the AuraVisor Android-powered all-in-one untethered virtual reality headset. Now, I've already written a review about this on my blog and on Huffington Post and Hardcore Droid last week. And in response, what happened was James Talbot and Damson Audio decided to try to threaten the Huffington Post with some implied legal action. They're, what they are, this is built or advisor by James Talbot. He's the designer and built this on his own company that he then rolled into his old company, which is Damson Audio. Damson Audio is a British-based uh, Bluetooth headset company that knows a lot about consumer electronics and has gotten into the virtual reality bandwagon, decided to jump on that. And what they offered, uh, when I met James, was in uh, January, the beginning of January at CES 2016 in Las Vegas. And I have a video of that on there, of me testing the Orvisor at the time. What he promised was, a, like I said, which is on the box, an all-in-one uh, virtual reality experience with no computer, no phone, nothing like that required. Now, what, I've, what I have right here is the AuraVisor uh, virtual reality headset. This is uh, out of the box, obviously. Um, the headset itself has a few issues on its own. Um, if you look on the, where the nose is, the padding, there's a removable faceplate Velcro padding, but it all stops on the nose. So right here you've got a, hold on, right here you've got a sharp piece of plastic that can kind of push up against your nose. This whole piece right here, this hard piece, will push up against your nose. I have a rather large nose in case you can't tell. So when I put it on, it, it will kind of push on there. And then we have this piece of... Uh, rubber here that's also kind of hard that pushes into the bridge of your nose and everybody despite how big their face is i have a rather large head so i'm at the the top of this thing and and everybody was still kind of having issues with this thing being a little bit painful and james is recommending this for ages of four years old or younger and to compare we have the viewmaster i don't have the actual viewmaster headset on me anymore uh, gave that to a kid actually but i do have some of the reels now, first off, the Viewmaster reels do not work with the Orvisor because the Orvisor does not come with the camera. But that's not something that was falsely advertised. That doesn't make it not all-in-one. It just makes it hard to untether And when it's the only Android version of virtual reality that doesn't have that. Um, so which makes it so you can't use a lot of the cardboard-related items like the Viewmaster. The Viewmaster is made by Mattel, and it's recommended for ages of 7 and up. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable. I wish I had one to show you. I'll get one eventually so I can compare the two, but it, it's, it's a lot more rounded off and easier for a kid to use. This is a little bit more dangerous. I wouldn't recommend for a four-year-old for sure. Uh, why he's putting his daughter in his ads and putting her on the internet and then complaining when I ask why you're using your four-year-old with virtual reality, I don't know. Um, and then here we have cardboard. This is Google Cardboard with the Samsung Galaxy S7. If you buy an S7, you get a uh, free version of the Gear VR. There's now two versions. Uh, the one version, is the original version, is now $60, and the new version, which is a black headset instead of the white that looks like the Oculus one, um, is $100. And there are a few little differences here and there, but for the most part, that's what you get. Those are actually free when you buy right now. Uh, I don't know how long that promotion is going to be, but when I bought my Galaxy S7 back in uh, March, they still had that same thing going. And with the Galaxy, because it has the camera, you could just cut out a section of the cardboard so that you can see the camera and the cameras, you're able to use that camera in just a basic cardboard setup. This is just like the free cardboard that they gave out. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, G Technology makes some of the uh, like the storage devices, network storage devices for virtual reality, like hardcore, fast speeds, really good stuff. Um, now, I also, with the cardboard, in order to make it more realistic, I took a Sharpie and blacked out all the, the inside edges. And so, when I gave this as an all-in-one device, an F, the reason is because I'm comparing this which just came out in October with 
this, which has been out for years now, two years, I believe. And and seeing what Orvisor can do versus what Cardboard can do, Cardboard, especially with a Samsung Galaxy, which has access to the, the Galaxy, uh, or the Samsung VR app, you can get a lot of, of great experiences on it that aren't available on Orvisor, for starters. The Viewmaster Reels. You can use the Viewmaster Reels. You can look through, see them, select them, and the Viewmaster app. These these are each pack. Each color is a different pack. And each pack, I want to say, is about twenty dollars, give or take. It's seventeen for the headset, I believe. And these headsets are free. You can get them for like five bucks, but most companies are branding them like this, like business cards are giving them out for free. And so when Comparing the two of them, this does not do everything that this does. And that is a huge, huge failure on the manufacturing side. Um, one of the problems, the reasons why, is that most Android VR experiences are based on you being able to pull the phone out and do what you need to do. You can't do that with the Orvisors, so it was the responsibility of Damson Audio and James Talbot to design something that would go over the the uh, menu that would give it a a the ability to navigate through using either the controls on the aura visor or on the included bluetooth controller um that is kind of there but it's really not because he says that this can do everything that is in the play store but the problem is is with the aura visor it is so poorly designed the screen is 5.5 inches compared to 5.1 on the Galaxy, which sounds like it would be a selling point, but it's actually not because there's a 100 degree field of vision on here. So you're not seeing the entire, with the lenses, the entire screen. There's bars on the right and on the bottom that you can't see, and those are scroll bars that are often necessary. Uh, when you get to the Play Store, when you... Uh, Sony PSVR, I'm going to be comparing this to Sony PSVR later too because there are some other aspects of it for piracy purposes that uh, he's not technically understanding, but um, the PSVR is also capable of that as is OSVR. So when comparing Visor at $450 to a $500 Galaxy S7 or a $400 Galaxy S6 with a free gear VR it or even with the free cardboard if you miss the gear VR uh, promotion or using uh, the $17 <laughs> Viewmaster or even the uh, like something great high-end if you want the highest field of vision, I believe it's 150 degrees offered by Wearality. I mean, there are a few that go above that, but that's one of the clearer ones. Uh, and that one will be used, you can use those lenses in that headset with your phone. So there's there's a lot of options that are available there. And each one of those is, is actually self-contained. Because you have this phone, it is self-contained. Now, I know using a phone for virtual reality, if you're using your actual phone, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But if you have a secondary phone, and that's what, I, that's what this is kind of selling itself as, the Aura Visor, as a secondary device that doesn't use your phone, well, you can buy another phone and use your current phone or buy a new phone, whatever you want to do, that's just for VR. And that is a, a great all-in-one VR solution that is upgradable. That you can switch out the phone whenever you want. Now the Aura Visor is not upgradable. Not only that, it is not as advertised. You cannot use this without having a computer and without having some other device, to, an external device, in order to set it up. Because the keyboard, the default Android keyboard that's on every Android device, works on every Android device, does not work on the Aura Visor. Now, James Talbot has given off a lot of angry emails and responses and comments on the Indiegogo and Kickstarter campaigns for Aura Visor saying that Yes, they're fixing it, they're working on it, blah, blah, blah. We need to be patient. Well, the problem is that the original delivery date of my receipt was for March of this, and that it was delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed, and for seven months, we sat around not knowing, and if anybody asked, he just would, once every couple months, put out an email saying, like, don't bother me, don't send me these emails, don't ask me these same questions, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sorry, but you're in a business, and you've promised something that you failed to deliver on. And he made a few changes that, at, in the manufacturing that he clearly has not tested. 
And so he's aware, when you go to the Damson Audio site, it flat out says on the instructions that you are going to need a desktop computer to navigate the Play Store and just manually load all the Android games on here which would be fine if you're not marking this as an all-in-one device. If I am a kid and I want virtual reality and I get this but I don't have anything else, I don't have a computer of my own, things like that, those people exist, I've, I've met them. And if you give somebody like that this and tell them that this is a self-contained device and they get it and they can't do anything because they don't have a computer, you've, you've ripped them off and that's not okay. So as a complete all-in-one untethered device, Aura Visor does not work as promised. For that, it gets an F. Now, it also fails to function as everything that a cardboard can. Now, what Aura Visor can do is a little bit gray area. See, there's an, the best way to describe this is the VR the VR industry right now is divided into libraries. Oculus has a library, HTC Vive has a library, PSVR has a library, there's a library of things you can do on cardboard, most of which do not work on this, most of which don't work on the Gear VR also, some of the Google VR stuff, just so you know. But when you can uh, hook this up with the HDMI cable that's in there and the USB cable, you can hook the Aura Visor up to your computer. And at that point, with some gray area software homebrew type things, you can kind of get it to play bootleg versions of the Oculus Rift and uh, HTC Vive games, things like that. So that does put this out of the class of the Gear VR and Cardboard and the all-in-one untethered that he's describing it as it's being marketed as, it is not that at all. As that, it fails. But it does work as a Android-powered smart HMD for uh, like an OS VR. Now it's not OS VR. OS VR stands for Open Source Virtual Reality, which means everybody has access to it. The software development kit for this has been made available to some of the, the backers but other than that, I mean, it's, it's a small community of maybe two, three hundred people that's going to be able to, to get these things to work. Now, on that, we have to start comparing this to this $450 headset to the $400 headset from Sony, which, uh, PSVR headset, which I also have, and I, I can tell you, is just shoots, blows us out the water. It's insane how much better it is than this. Uh, comfort levels, uh, or design, everything. Uh, I'll, I'll compare them all in a later video, but for now, um, it's more expensive than that, and it, it's less comfortable, and it has, uh, Sony's got two HDMIs, this has got one, so, you know, there's one HDMI in each, each screen, so Sony's got twice the graphics capability. Um, then you have OSVR, which is a $200 headset, I believe, where, or $350, actually, uh, headset where it's a hundred dollars cheaper than this and has a much larger I mean the Razer headset alone is just the first one there's gonna be plenty of OSVR it's got tons of support on the desktop market uh, because desktop desktops are able to power things that Android can't so basically with Oravisor comparing it to cardboard gear things like that even an iPhone with a Viewmaster it's overpriced, it has half the functionality because it can't do any of the, the MR, AR, mixed reality, augmented reality functions. And it's really hard to navigate in here. It's hard to download anything from the Play Store. It says that it's marketed that it can play anything from the Play Store. Everything that I've tried to get, it won't do. Um, I'm needing to scan QR codes. I can't because there's none. Uh, I'm, I can't select it from any of the device listings because is not listed. Nobody knows who they are. There, there's just so many layers of problems that the, the Consumer's going to have to figure out that this is not a consumer ready product, but it is a great Android product for virtual reality enthusiasts who are looking to homebrew their own, be a developer basically. This is a great developer kit. It's not a consumer product. As a consumer product, it's a complete failure. Fuck this thing. And as an as a enterprise tool, as a developer tool, it's actually not bad but still overpriced i would i would not recommend it over the razer osvr i would not recommend it over the rift uh you're not gonna get any of the quality that you will off the rift of the vive uh, i would not recommend it over psvr uh, and psvr and osvr are both much cheaper than this uh, so there's really no need to do that 
Now, the PSVR does need a PS4, but you can also hook it up to an Xbox and a desktop as long as you have a PS4. Um, this is, you know, one of the unintentional consequences of Sony. Sony uh, PlayStation stuff has always been really good, better than Xbox stuff usually, of connecting with the PC. Um, so that, that, there, the... The lack of access to the library, the lack of access to Android VR stuff is what really holds back the Orvisor. Yes, you can watch some grainy 3D movies in a kind of a VR movie theater environment. There's a decent picture at the beginning where you can look through, but you're, you're extremely limited unless you have a, a desktop and some other some other, you know, hardware to, to load content on here. You can't surf the web and download it yourself. You can surf the web on a phone and download it yourself very easily. It is self-contained. It's easy to navigate. You can just slip it into any cardboard device and it's easy to go. Uh, it's good to go. And you can upgrade it and change it any time. With the Aura Visor, despite uh, Mr. Talbot's uh, assertions, he doesn't seem to understand what uh, expandable versus upgradable means. It has an expandable memory slot, which is great. It has uh, some expandable you know, USB, but it's not upgradable. I can't, I will avoid the warranty if I take this apart and upgrade the processor and the graphics, which is what's necessary. That This thing can't run Android 7.1 Nougat. It's, it just doesn't have the hardware capability. So it's already obsolete. It was seven months late. Uh, if this was back in March and these problems were happening, that wouldn't be an issue, but we're coming up with the holiday season, and if you get this, the Orvisor Android VR headset in your stocking, uh, I, I would definitely, I would return it immediately. I would be pissed off at whoever gave it to me, and I would trade it in for a Galaxy S7 or S6 with a free gear VR to get a much better, much more refined VR experience. Uh, if you're a developer who's looking for every kind of, of market and platform to get your, your stuff on, or if you're a creator of any kind, the video stores are terrible on there. Uh, it doesn't even access YouTube 360. There's just horrible, horrible things. You're going to have to start from the ground up and build everything that, that you can just get for you, handed to you in any other uh, platform. Uh, I would definitely recommend OSVR. Uh, that's a great platform if you're looking for the piracy route, the homebrew route. But Orvisor is a niche product that may in a few years be great, but as of right now, judging by what I've seen of this company, of Damson Audio and the Orvisor, I don't have very good, uh, I don't really have very good feeling about it. So that is Orvisor versus Cardboard VR and all the reasons why Cardboard Gear and Viewmaster all beat it. And the next video that I'll do after this is to kind of break down the uh, differences between PSVR and the Orvisor so that you understand why you're better off with PSVR. And after that I'll do an OSVR one. <laughs> uh, until then, my name is Brian Penny, uh, writer for a bunch of different places, <laughs> freelance writer, but uh, have a great day.